right now for most businesses, we're seeing Facebook being the cheapest. Okay. Then, funny enough, we're seeing TV ads being the second cheapest, and then we're seeing uh, Google come right after that. So, oh. TV in, in many cases, not all cases, but in many cases, producing amazing ROI. Um, but the big reason we're seeing that is during COVID, a lot of people cut their budgets on TV. Mm, for sure. Right. And it still yeah. works. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. And same with radio. Radio works really, really well. And we've seen people cut budgets during COVID and we're seeing that work still well right now. Mm. Um, and people, you know, took that knee jerk reaction on cutting budgets when they didn't really need to. Yep. Yep. No, it's, it's powerful. And I, 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 as you said, you know, it's about branding too, right? So you have to, I, I think a lot of the dangers I'm seeing with marketers now is that they're, they're so focused on the data and the short-term win and the short-term ROAS. Yeah. That they're, they're forgetting the branding in it. You know, you don't build Tesla just by, running CPLs totally, you know, 80, 80% ROAS in three days, you know, you can't do that. You know, you, you can't no. build a brand like Apple that way. It's something that's a marathon, right? You have to brand, you have to brand, you have to brand, you have to brand, and you have to be fanatic about design. And if you look at the iPhone, if you look at the, even this can here, which kind of fascinated me, how they put that together, uh, you know, that's what people see in espresso capsules, the way they put the espresso together, yes. the way that Ikea, you know, has the furniture assembly making it so easy for people to just put it together without tools. And, you know, it's, it's, it's all in the detail. It's that 1%, that, that 2% that, that really sticks out in the product. And I really love this quote, you know, this, this from Elon Musk, right? He was asked, you know, how to have success and all that stuff. And he says, unless you're a first mover product, your product just really needs to be so much better than everything out there. The more competitive it is, the more you need to focus on the product, right? The old days of creating some shitty service online and 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 marketing the hell out of it. Uh, Those days are gone. I agree with that. Because it's like, gone, you know? yes, if, if you create a shitty product, you market the crap out of it and you generate a lot of sales, you may do well in the short run, but in the long run, you're not going to have a sustainable business and someone's going to clean your slate. Uh -huh.